Let's speak about Virgin Galactic, baby. What is happening, investors? It is your boy, Jack. I am not a financial advisor. I got the cloud line to prove that fact. And today we're going to speak about our favorite space-related company, baby, Virgin Galactic. So all long-term investors know that with Virgin Galactic, we were expecting Richard Branson to go to space in the first quarter of this year. That represents an 11-week window for Richard Branson to literally go to space. And with every passing week, it looks a little bit less likely. I'm sure everybody will remember December 12th, a Virgin Galactic test flight had to be aborted. And today on Twitter from Virgin Galactic, we got a little bit of an update in regards to what they are doing now and what is happening next. We now know a little bit more about why the mission had to be aborted and what they are hopefully going to do to fix it. And we're actually up about 3.5% nearly in the pre-market. So people are taking this tweet as quite good news. So the two main things I want to speak about is, you know, the December 12th fail and this tweet from Virgin Galactic because this is the main thing. And then also the price action. And ultimately, do I think that Richard Branson is going to space in the first quarter of this year? And what implementations will it have for long-term investors if he does or does not? So right before we do get into the video, my friends, could I please ask you to hit that juicy like button? Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this news today. Let me know if you're picking up some more shares or if you're just holding. And please, my friend, if you are indeed new around here, hit that juicy red subscribe button. We're trying to get to 70,000 subs. Also, if you are interested in joining my private Discord group, that's the first link in the description, my friends. In there, you get my buy and sell alerts. You join a community of near 800 investors you get access to over 50 private channels we have a virgin galactic channel and to top it all off tomorrow i'm doing a one thousand dollar giveaway in there if you want some free stocks on weeble my friends that's the second link in the description sign up deposit 100 dollars it's that simple two of those free stocks are valued up to 3700 dollars so a little bit of a throwback december 12th a virgin galactic test flight had to be aborted following the vss unity engine failure to ignite due to a communication issue between the propulsion system and the onboard computers which observed the rocket motor. So failing to reach space, the VSS Unity turned around and managed to glide safely back down to Spaceport America with neither of the pilots hurt. So that was the, the primary positive taken away from this. Nobody got hurt and we also did find out that they can land safely. So this was the first of three planned power test flights before commercial operations are slated to kick off. Credit Swiss analyst Robert Spingarn believes early indications are that this first test flight will need to be repeated. And yes, we now know that's true. So just earlier on today, following our test flight on December 12, 2020, we have completed the post-flight inspections and root cause analysis of what caused the onboard computer to halt ignition of the rocket motor. Corrective actions have been defined and work is already underway. So this is very, very exciting. They have figured out the exact cause of the issue, which means that they can now fix it and hopefully get their next test flight underway sooner rather than later, which is really what investors are hoping for. Once this corrective work has been implemented and verified, we will confirm our pre-flight timeline for the next test flight and share expected days for when the flight window will open. So we don't have the most information in the world. We don't know exactly when the next test flight will happen but this update coming out today fills me as an investor with confidence i do believe it's going to come sooner rather than later beforehand i would have been a little bit more pessimistic in regards to virgin galactic in all honesty they had a somewhat prolonged history of pushing things back of elongating these processes now in fairness guys they want to bring people to space okay it's not exactly a very easy thing to do and a lot has to happen for this to be successful. So I want to bring you back here to what the analysts had to say after the test flight didn't go to plan. The silver lining is that SPCE was able to prove that it's built in fail safe scenarios worked properly, enabling SS2 to glide back to earth without jeopardizing the safety of anyone on board. And I genuinely think that is one extraordinarily important piece of the puzzle. People need to feel safe getting onto these vehicles. And I actually think even if this does delay us a little bit, it is only going to strengthen Virgin Galactic going forward and strengthen the confidence that investors and people who are buying tickets have in this company. Knowing that, you know, in the unfortunate situation that something does go wrong, they can get back safely. The successful triggering of fail-safe scenarios should help quell some investor concerns over the risk of a catastrophic event as SPCE begins commercial operations. The average analyst price target on SPCE is still at $27 a share. The low is at $19 and the high is at $35. So in the past... That delay, that test flight not going to plan would have filled me with pessimism. But after getting this update, I'm actually optimistic and I genuinely think we will get an update very shortly from the company. Now, I want to keep it real with you guys, okay? That's what we do on this channel. I don't think Richard Branson is going to space in the first quarter of this year. I wish he was, but I don't think he is. And anybody who's been on the channel for a long time will know that I've been somewhat expecting this for months and months and months. 
I've been saying that I hope he does, but I would still be happy if he does it in the first half of the year. Because this is complicated, okay? There was always going to be hiccups. It was essentially best case scenario he was going to go to space in the first quarter. We had a hiccup, okay? They didn't have a successful test flight. Not a 100% successful test flight at least. And that is going to delay operations. That is going to delay FDA approval. And that's ultimately going to delay people going to space. So, I am still hoping that within the first half of this year, Richard Branson goes to space. And I do genuinely believe that is a real possibility. Of course, it could be prolonged further. If there are more things like this, if test flights don't go to plan, at least nothing catastrophic has happened. What I would also like to say is that we were on a really really nice run before this news came out and now we've kind of been consolidating and i find it quite interesting okay that our previous high now it's not our all-time high but it was our previous recent high literally has turned into a point of resistance for us at this stage and we also have some sort of a support line drawn here so we are trading in an interesting range we're right around the support lines right now i'm gonna be watching these guys closely i'm happy with my position that i've built up in this company from a long-term point of view i either think you are making a lot of money with this company if you buy now if you bought six months ago probably if you buy in another three months i think you're going to make a lot of money and i think this is going to really really outperform the large majority of the stock market or else we're going to lose money. I don't think there's going to be much of an in-between. I don't think it's going to be a slow and steady climb. I think we're going to make a lot of money or lose a lot of money at some stage. And that's why you do have to somewhat monitor this one because bad news really, really can affect this stock price in particular. So right now, this is our trading range. Virgin Galactic is no stranger to huge swings. All I have to do is take you back to the start of November and these were, what, $17 a share? That's not that long ago in the grand scheme of things. They literally went on a 100 plus percent run up in the span of five weeks, my friends. These are the kind of moves that Virgin Galactic can make. Now, I do believe if they come out with some positive news soon off the back of this tweet, if they give us an update on the next test flight and if the next test flight goes successful, I think we're going to start making some nice money here, baby. I do still have a whole lot of confidence in this company. I do still see it as a long-term investment. I would have zero interest of selling right now. Even if we went back down to $17, $16, $15 a share, zero interest of selling. I would actually quite heavily buy at those prices now. I think they have handled this year and everything that's been thrown at them this year quite well, in all honesty. I do still think they have to do a little bit better to really gain the confidence of the investors. But this tweet is a positive sign. And again, I would like to point out that that average analyst price target is $27 a share. It doesn't represent much upside as of right now. But I also think it's a relatively difficult company to put a price target on, in all honesty, because so much can go right or wrong for them. I think the high price target should be a lot higher, and the low price target should be lower, in all honesty. And I would like to remind you guys that... These are 12 month price targets, but very often these analysts change their 12 month price targets every two weeks or every month or every two months whenever a significant piece of news comes out. And you don't notice it as much with big blue chip stocks or any of the FANG stocks or the biggest stocks in the world, but you will notice it with stocks like this that have huge news coming out regularly. So keep an eye on the analyst targets. I wouldn't be surprised as well if we get some new analysts covering these guys relatively soon. In regards to entry points, I think if we break below this line of support, this area of support, I'm looking towards, you know, the low 20s. That's where I would contemplate adding more. Where I would 100% without a doubt in my mind add more is if we somehow got back down to the 17s. I really, really don't see that happening at this stage. But if there is a bad piece of news, it very well could. But anyway, my friends, that was just a little quick update on my thoughts on Virgin Galactic. When I saw this tweet, I figured I'd give you guys an update. I'll be watching this very closely and hoping that some big news comes out over the next week or two would be my hope. If you watch this video all the way till the end, you, my friend, are a true legend and I really do appreciate you being here from the bottom of my heart. Your support means the world to me. If you did enjoy the video, could I please ask you, just hit that juicy like button. Why not? Drop me a comment down below and please, my friend, subscribe if you're new around here. And again, if you want to join that private Discord group, that's the first link in the description. So much juicy value in there and you have the chance of winning some money tomorrow. So you got to get in there quick. And if you want those free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description. Again, it's literal free money. You just have to sign up, deposit $100. You get four free stocks, baby. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you for another video very soon. Peace.